did you know that KRA has a laboratory? Yes, we have a fully fledged laboratory at KRA. This lab has been in existence since 1995. Originally, it was located at Forother House, but in the year 2009, it was moved to its current location, fourth floor Times Tower. And it's a division under Strategy, Innovation and Risk Management Department. It's a ISO 17025 accredited laboratory. We assist specifically customs and the excise division on classification of goods. Also, we have roles in protecting the environment and society. We have three major types of laboratories here. The first one is uh, organic and polymers lab. And as the name suggests, we test for polymers, for organic products, for surfactants, fabrics, resins, papers, among other type of samples. There is lab two. Lab two is food and drugs lab. This lab tests for food, beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. We test for drugs, narcotics. This is towards protecting the society. This is lab three, inorganic and materials lab. This is the lab of interest today because this is where the test for steel and base metals occur. It tests for cement, fertilizers, and other related trade goods. We also have a satellite lab in Mombasa. It does a combination of all the three labs and uh, it's to be commissioned very soon. So very soon we'll be able to have tests done in Mombasa without having to take samples to Nairobi. For now, let's focus on steel, which is inspected and tested in the inorganic laboratory. Once a dispute is raised on a steel consignment by a customs officer, it will take two days to inspect and analyze the consignment in the KRA laboratory. A customs officer will bring the sample to the KRA lab officer or assign the KRA lab officer to pick a sample for testing at the port of entry or at the taxpayer's premises. They will then put the sample in a tamper-proof bag to maintain its integrity and transport it to the KRA lab for testing. Upon entry to the lab, the sample will be passed through the machine cutter to split it into appropriate sizes. And then undergo polishing using a grinding machine, also known as a polishing machine. After this, the cut sample is presented to the optical emission spectrometer for analysis. This will take approximately two minutes to generate a test result on the sample tested. The KRA lab officer will prepare a report of the sample presented. The report will be submitted to a second level officer for review. After which, he or she will present it to a third level officer for further review and approval. The purpose of this three-level review is to ensure the quality of the report before dispatch. After receiving the report from the KRA lab officer, the customs officer will then advise the taxpayer on the next course of action. When the samples come, it's only brought to the lab by authorized officers, by those who have access to the lab, subometric access. 
from there it's signed in and it goes to the analyst who has been assigned to handle that sample. Once the analyst is done, it goes to the store where it is kept for up to two years, awaiting appeals or if there's need for retesting for whatever reason. And even the store is only biometrically accessible to authorized officers. From receiving the samples all the way to storage, there's a clear chain of custody such that at any one given time, we are in a position to know where the sample is and who is handling it.